What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Ron back with DFS Greatness. Hope everybody having a good one. Um, I'm here to give you guys great lineups, great picks. Let's have a great night, man. Before I start my video, you like the content, you feel like this video helpful, subscribe to my channel, like my page, man. I'm just here to give you guys some good picks and, you know, and help everybody get to the green line and win some money, man. That's the goal of the plan. That's the goal of playing DFS. Um, also, I'm about to start dropping betting videos. If you guys are interested in it, subscribe to my channel. We're going to have... Um, Breaking down, like, you know, the over and unders on NFL, NBA. So it's about to come in. I got my, um, one of my buddies with me. We're about to start dropping these videos for the, um, for the football. You know, betting videos, man. You know, parlays. Just easy money, man. The betting's pretty easy. We're in Tennessee, so, you know, a lot of people betting now in Tennessee. So we got these videos about to be coming out for you guys. And um, let's get to it, man. At the quarterback position tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys um, a few of my favorite plays. And let's go, man. My favorite play tomorrow, I like Josh Allen. He's averaging 24 fantasy points a game, 8,600. And um, Josh Allen on DraftKings, he is um, $1,000 cheaper. Last three games, 29, 36, and 14. So Josh Allen been playing pretty good, man. I like the matchup. I feel like he got a good receiver. You can stack him up with um, Cole Beasley. You no know, Mike John Brown's out tomorrow. Um, also, you can have Stephon Diggs stack them up. Um, the Chargers running 27. The Chargers always end games, but they can't close games out. So I definitely feel like, you know, the Bills tomorrow could play pretty good, get the win, and, um, you know, get the job done. So I definitely like him. I feel like he's in a good matchup, man. And another quarterback I like, 200 yards cheaper, Justin Herbert. He is um, 200 cheap on DraftKings last three games, 28, 22, and 23. So I like Justin Herbert a lot. Um, he's averaging just around 24 fantasy points a game. Um, Keenan Allen's playing lights out this year. Got a quarterback that's giving him the ball, you know. He also, Keenan Allen's scoring touchdowns. And Justin Herbert is getting a job done. Just can't get the wins. But they get some help on defense tomorrow. I've seen um, Harris come back tomorrow and some more people. And also another quarterback I like, sleeper, Cam Newton. Averaging 19 fantasy points a game. Going against Arizona. And Arizona ranked 26 as a quarterback, um, against the quarterbacks. I feel like Cam can have a good game tomorrow. He definitely had a um, rushing upside from um, getting touchdowns in the red zone. I like Cam a lot. I mean, Cam just having a – this has been kind of a bad year for Cam. He just – I don't know what's going on. He was playing pretty good. Once he came back from COVID, he just not, has not been the same. So I definitely like Cam Newton tomorrow. Um, if you want to play him, a little cheap quarterback. Cam Newton, last three games, 19, 17, 25. He averaged 9.2 rush attempts a game. So I definitely like it tomorrow. Another quarterback I like. I like um, both of these quarterbacks tomorrow. Matt Ryan. He's averaging 18 point fantasy points a game, 7600. Um, he's $1,700 cheaper on DraftKings. He's in a fantastic matchup. It's just Matt Ryan. Just been kind of bad, man. I always like to play Matt Ryan in good matchups. He just don't get the job done. I mean, he got Julio and really two of the best receivers in the league. It's just, you know, I don't know what's going on, man. If I had a coach and you know, it's still been looking pretty bad. You know, Matt Ryan, last three games, 7, 23, and 19. So, you know, if you want to go with cheap, the value quarterbacks, I do like tomorrow. And if it's Magic, it's back tomorrow, man. Tua is, is out. So, definitely, the Magic will be in the, uh, in his hands tomorrow. If you want to go get Ryan Fitzpatrick, um, he's averaging six, 18 point fantasy points a game against the, um, the Jets. They are not that good at all. So, I definitely like it if you want to um, spin up for him tomorrow. It's 7400 I feel like it's a cheap price tag. If you want to go get him, definitely want to have some Devontae Parker, stack him up because I feel like he'll, he'll you know, have at least two or three touchdowns tomorrow. Another um, quarterback I like tomorrow, Taysom Hill. He's averaging um, just around six fantasy points a game. You know, he hit the first star last week with Drew Brees out, 7300 Um With Taysom Hill, he do have um, the upside of rushing touchdowns. He had 24 fantasy points last week. He had averaged around 4.4 rush attempts a game. I definitely like him. And my last three quarterbacks, I'm going to just mention these guys. Daniel Jones, um, I like the matchup against Cincinnati. Terrible. You know, no Joe Burrow. So Cincinnati defense looked pretty bad last week. Alex Smith got the job done against them. Derek Carr against Atlanta defense, worst defense overall. So if you want to go get um, Derek Carr, do not see wrong with getting him. Um, Nelson Aguilar stacked them guys up. Aguilar has been playing fantastic this year. Um, you know, getting a job done, he getting a lot of targets. That's just you know a low sleeper, Derek Carr. Um, thirty second against thirty second against quarterbacks. Um, Carr been playing pretty good, man, this year. Um, I definitely like playing him tomorrow. I think um, that is a good play. You want to go get him. 
And if I dig anybody else, it's worth even considering tomorrow. Cheaper. Um, probably have to pass on the rest of these quarterbacks. But the main ones I gave you guys, that's what I like. And I'm going to go lock in Josh Allen for my quarterback tomorrow. Trying to lock him in. It's going kind of slow. Okay, my bad about that, people. Sometimes stuff be kind of slow. Okay, the running back position tomorrow, you got um Dalvin Cook sitting at 11,100. Let me ask you this, man. He got his bread. He's playing pretty good. Zeke got his bread. What is Zeke doing this year? Zeke Elliott has not rushed over 100 yards this year. So Dalvin Cook, man, the price is pretty steep. If you want to spend up for 11,000 um, 11, for a running back, but um, he's averaging, two, like, every game, 23, 13, 38 fantasy points, getting 22 um, rushes a, um, a game. Um, one against um, Carolina, ranked 26 against running backs. So if you want to spin up there, you can. But it's a lot of value at running back tomorrow. But, you know, that's the top option. You want to spin up another guy. I like tomorrow Nick Chubb, averaging 12 fantasy points a game since Nick Chubb came back from injury. Um, he's been playing pretty good, man. Um 11, 9, and 4, and getting around 16 rush attempts a game. So his um, attempts is kind of um, shared. He got um, Kareem Hunt. They both um, shared um, touches. So um, they ranked 31 as a whole against the um, running back 25th. So I definitely like Chubb tomorrow. If I did go um, any other running back tomorrow, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs averaging 15 fantasy points a game. Um, I definitely like him going against Atlanta. Atlanta, like I told you, I'm definitely going to have some Raiders stack tomorrow because I just know um, they won't get the job done. I, I like it. their price tag. is not that bad for Josh um, Josh Jacobs, 13, 28, 13. See, he's getting the rush attempts. A key ingredient to have a successful lineup. You want guys to be in the game a lot. I don't like the committee approach for running back, so he's averaging just around um, 19 fantasy points a game. Well, 19 rush attempts a game. I definitely like Josh Jacobs. But, um, I mean, Derrick Henry, I didn't really mention Derrick Henry, but he's going to get, like, 28, 30 um, rush attempts a game. So, you know, he's going to get his uh, rush attempts. He's averaging so many rush attempts a game. The Titans use him to death. So, if you want to go get Derrick Henry, you can. But the Colts is a tough defense to run against. I can't tell you that for a fact. If other running backs, uh, if I go down any lower, Um, Austin Eckler will come back tomorrow, but I don't know how he's going to be. He's been out. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to be on pitch count tomorrow. And Jonathan Taylor is out tomorrow, COVID. So I don't know. He was in close contact with somebody with COVID, so he's not going to be playing tomorrow. I want all the Naheem, Naheem Hines tomorrow, man, 5,700. I just feel like that's a bargain play for Naheem Hines. Um, he's averaging just around 10 fantasy points a game, but, you know, he's going to be out there a hell of a lot tomorrow. He's a good PPR guy. Um, going against um, the Titans, ranked 27 against running backs. And I just feel like he can be out there catching passes, returning punts. He's like a little um, – he's a wild card guy, man. Scale back running back. He can just do about everything. Definitely going to lock Hines in tomorrow. And um, Wayne Gelman Jr., um, I definitely like him also. I feel like this guy's a good matchup too. Last three games, 19, 14, 13, getting around seven and a half to, um, targets a game. He's $700 cheap on DraftKings. You want to go put that guy in your lineup. But the, everybody heard the news is um, Ty Girl, he's out tomorrow. So I definitely want to go get healed for the price tag tomorrow. I think Hill is sitting at 5,400. Yeah, I mean, my bad. Brian Hill, he's sitting at 5,100 5, tomorrow. I mean, he's just a cheap play, so I can get some big dogs in there. I'm rock with him tomorrow against the Las Vegas Raiders. They're not that good at, against the run, so I'm going to like him, man. And I'm going to get these receivers um, straight now. Um, my favorite receiver tomorrow is... um. Tyree Hill averaging 17 fantasy points a game going against Tampa Bay. Um, Tampa Bay defense don't really scare me, and I just feel like Mahomes will be able to carve those guys out and get the ball all around the field. So um, Tyree Hill's averaging 17 fantasy points a game, like I mentioned, 22, 29, 24. He getting around 8.6 targets a game. You know, last game, 14, 18, and 6. So Patrick Mahomes is looking for this guy 75% of the time. He's looking for him. So I definitely like him tomorrow. 
And like I mentioned earlier, with Herbert, you look look at Keenan Allen. Um, Keenan Allen averaged 15 fantasy points a game. Um, every game, man, the targets, a key thing, man, I love targets, 19, 7, and 11. He getting hella targets, 200 dollars cheap on DraftKings, 27, 11, 21, man. He's putting up crazy, ridiculous numbers, Keenan Allen is. And um, no, Larry Fitzgerald tomorrow, I don't know if that will matter because Larry Fitzgerald hasn't been getting a lot of targets, but Hopkins always on the, um, the meter. I'm pretty sure he will get good targets tomorrow. And one of my other favorite guys is Stephon Diggs, 7,900. Um, definitely want to have him stacked up with um, Josh Allen tomorrow. No Thielen, man. Thielen's out tomorrow with COVID. So I definitely want to have all the Justin Jefferson tomorrow, man. I feel like that's too um, cheap for the rookie, man. He's been playing crazy, uh, averaging 13 fantasy points a game, getting around um, 5.9 targets a game. I just feel like he's going to have a hell of a game. He's $700 cheaper on DraftKings. I definitely want to have all the exposure. Because, um, you know, they're going to open up the playbook for him tomorrow. He's going to be the main target. Definitely like Justin Jefferson tomorrow. The receivers like Justin, Je um, Justin Jefferson, Tyree Hill, and I like Stephon Diggs. Them are three free receivers I like for tomorrow. I mean, there's other receivers we can mention that's a little bit cheaper. And um, Robert Woods. Robert Woods, DJ Moore. I like DJ Moore. He's in a fantastic matchup against um, Minnesota. That bring 30th. So if you want to go get him, Robbie Anderson, I definitely like this stack with them tomorrow just to be a little different. And Robert Woods going against um, San Francisco. San Francisco is not the same San Francisco last year. Like him and Cooper Cup. And if I did go cheaper receiver, like I mentioned earlier, uh, Fitzpatrick is going to be starting tomorrow. I would definitely like to stack him up with um, Devontae Parker tomorrow. I feel like it's a good play. Robbie Anderson is cheap. And Robbie Anderson has been playing pretty good also. And I just don't know how the Giants game script is going to be. T. Higgins, he's been um, playing pretty good also. Um, the Giants' defense is a little bit decent. And um, Joe Burrow's out there. I got this other quarterback starting. He's not that good. Like I mentioned earlier, no John Brown. So you want to look at cheap guys um, like Cole um, Beasley. Cole Beasley should be 5,400. He's going to be out. He's going to be out there tomorrow getting some good targets. When do you ever see Ty? Um, T.Y. Hilton is cheap, 5400 T.Y. Hilton and Phillip Rivers don't have their chemistry this year. Uh, this is crazy to see T.Y. Hilton is cheap. Cole Beasley, 5400 Lock him in, man. I'm telling you, he's going to be, if you want to spin up for, um, like, a Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley will be a guy that definitely want to have some exposure to tomorrow. Tight end position. At the top of the tight end, you got um, Travis Kelsey, averaging 16 fantasy points a game. Um, targets are crazy. 10, 12, um, targets, 10, 12, and 12 targets a game. He's $1,000 cheap on DraftKings. Um, I definitely like him, man, with Patrick Mahomes stack. Another tight end I like tomorrow, Darren Waller. Averaging 10 fantasy points a game in a fantastic matchup against Atlanta. I'm telling you, I'm having a Raiders stack. I hit tomorrow. Uh, Rob Gronkowski going against Kansas City. Um, Gronkowski didn't have a game last week, but Tom Brady was pretty bad. Um, Gronk only hit um, six targets last game. He's... Um, $1,800 cheap on DraftKings. If you want to go spin up for him, I definitely like Hunter and Henry tomorrow at the 5900 A cheap tight end if you want to go um, throw in your lineup. Also, I like Evan Green, um, Ever Ingram at 5600 Going against the Bengals. The Bengals defense can't stop nobody. And that's about it for tight end. That's the main option I do like tomorrow. This high end I'm gonna rock with tomorrow is Dan Waller. And the defense tomorrow, um, a lot of people's gonna spin up for the Miami Dolphins defense. I do not see wrong with that. Um, 
they going to have, they going to have Joe Flacco tomorrow. Joe Flacco, I don't feel like Miami defense is, um, is a good defense to have tomorrow. Flacco still been putting up points for them. I just feel like, you know, Flacco will have a good game. But one of my favorite defense tomorrow, I like Cleveland Browns going against Jacksonville. And also, I like the Saints defense. They've been, the Saints defense has been better, but they um, better than what I thought they are going to be. They've been getting the job done, getting quarterback pressure, turnovers and everything. Another defense, I like also um, the Chief defense is 4,300. I like the New York Giants. Man, they're going to get some, um, another quarterback. He's getting from his uh, getting a star. He's not they got that much experience on his belt, so I definitely like the Giants for a few turnovers and sacks. So I'm going to like the Giants in. Around 5,700 left to play with. There's a lot of good options for that 5,700 to put in your lineup. Which way you want to construct your lineup. Like I mentioned earlier, Wayne Gilman Jr. I will definitely like him tomorrow. And if you want to go... Look at um, a guy like Jarvis Landry. Michael Pittman Jr., man, I played him before. Man, this guy, he's a straight baller. He played pretty good also. Um, keep an eye on um, um, Jerry Judy. If he do play tomorrow, it's questionable at 5,700. Yeah, man, these are my picks, man. That's what I'm probably rocking with tomorrow on the key lineup. These are some of my favorite plays for tomorrow. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. If you like the page, subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, just we got to wait, wait for the video to come out. We're going to drop it later on today for the betting. If any, anybody interested in um, um, daily betting on uh, NFL games for tomorrow, we're going to have a, um, a video coming out, prop bets, over and unders, how to construct a parlay and just be successful. I mean, a lot of people always want to be successful, but you got to start off small. You don't have to do like a, a seven, eight game parlay for like $20. Think you're going to get so much money. Just do baby steps. Just like do a one or two game parlay, put five on it, put 10 on it. You don't have to go for the kill all the time. But at the end of the day, man, it's your boy Ron back with DFS Greatness. Until next time.